Our next guest says there is room for more gains, arguing that Benioff now needs to switch gears to revenue reacceleration and put the AI hype into revenue reality. Joining us today, Jeffries Brent Thill, a buy rating on the stock, target of uh, 275 is up from 250. Brent, it's good to see you. Um, I guess how impressive is is not just the margin, uh, the margin guidance, but the timing of that margin guidance. Yeah, Carl. It it was long overdue on the margin. They were significantly trailing their peers in the software industry. So they're merely playing catch up on the margin side. Uh, now that the margin's back up, we need to see the revenue growth sustain and potentially reaccelerate. All the AI hype really is not in revenue. We think ultimately some of the AI excitement could filter in uh, in the next several quarters. Uh, in, into 24 to have a bigger impact to, to reaccelerate revenue growth from low teens, hopefully into the mid-teen uh, mark. Uh, but make no mistake, they still have a lot of margin improvement left. Uh, the company getting close to 30% operating margins. This company should be generating 35 to 40% margins, generating uh, close to mid-teen uh, revenue growth. That's going to put you back uh, again, uh, you know, near the peers uh, where where they should be. Uh, at, at that point, right? Does the does the macro environment feel like that that, that it's rich enough to get revenue reaccelerating again? Because they did talk about uh, sales cycles that continue to be elongated. Not yet. I think uh, we're still kind of caught in this uh, spending vortex and, and this optimization play. You're going to see hopefully that break open a little bit at, as we head into next year. You have the AI uh, tailwind. You also have comps are going to get easier. So that should help the overall company. But again, you know, great, great victory on the margin. This was long overdue. They need to take an M&A break. They, they put their M&A checkbook away. And uh, now they've hinted that maybe perhaps they come back. We think they, they now have deserved the whole pass to come back. Given all the M&A that they did, they digested that. They've now put up the margin. They're showing, you know, decent revenue growth. Uh, we, we think they now have that whole pass to come back to the market and say, look, we're ready to do it a tuck in AI deal, and I think the market would be very receptive to them going back to that at, the, at this point. Yeah, I mean, I go back to Star War, Starboard Values, Jeff Smith, who was on with us end of July, said, you know, has been very impressed with the improvement and says there's a lot more to come in Salesforce, so obviously a good call for him. It's already up, though, 70 percent year to date, Brent. So how much is the next leg, the AI monetization at this point priced in? A lot of the hype is here. There's no revenue. So this is all hype. Uh, and again, every one of the companies is, is, uh, is guilty of this, right, from uh, Microsoft all the way through the rest of the software industry. So today, it, it, many of these products aren't even really shipping. So it's, it's a low single-digit uh, percent impact. Over time, we think it could be a lot larger. It could certainly help uh, stimulate uh, overall demand. But uh, again, I think that's more of a 2024 event than it is a 23 event. Uh, for AI.